And now time for weekly show with a passionate India lover, chairman of ITV Gold and Parik Worldwide Media. Get ready for loving sharing from physician, philanthropist, publisher, and India advocate in this week. Namaskar, uh, once again, it's that day of the week when we have uh, Padma Shri recipient Dr. Sudhir Parekh answering all our questions in our weekly show this week with Dr. Sudhir Parekh. Namaskar, Doctor. Namaskar. Namaskar, everyone. So, uh, Doctor, let's start with the U.S. presidential uh, race, which is like just two weeks away now. And I see both the candidates, you know, they are trying to take like give tax incentives. They are even trying to give freebies to the middle class. So tell me what is your analysis on and how is it going to work? I think uh, this uh, election is very close. I mean, this, it, it can go either way. Uh, but right now, um, I mean, it literally is very close. Hmm. And but personally, I my reading is that probably Trump has some edge to over uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, hmm. and he may pull through hmm. because I think 92 percent of the Republican, those who are uh, believed to be Republican or pro-Republican, they all believe uh, going to vote for Trump, and if they do that. Then, and then I think uh, in other hand, certain young people, because of the Gaza-Israel uh, situation, hmm. may not vote for Kamala Harris. So I think it's very, very close. So I think it's anyone's guess uh, who wins. So what do you have to say about, you know, Elon Musk? He is giving away this $1 million cash prize for, you know, signing the petition, which is like in the swing states and he's supporting Trump. Well, I think, I mean, some people are questioning uh, legality of this kind of uh, thing. That was my question. Is right. it legal? Right. It's not illegal, but because it's uh, what he's saying that uh, he's registering the vote. He's not saying that you vote for Trump. Hmm. So voter registration is, is legal. Mm -hmm. And then what he's doing is he's drawing the lottery. So, so, uh, so he's not saying that uh, I will give you X amount of dollar to get registered. He says it's a lottery. It is. So there are 10 million people. I mean, chances of winning that lottery is very small, right? So, 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 so it's not. He's not giving away the money. Hmm. I mean, uh, quid for pro kind, pro kind of thing. You know? Means it's not exchange of the favor. Hmm. It's 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 a lottery system. Say so, okay. You do the voter registration, register yourself, then um, uh, you will be part of this lottery. So it's just like any other lottery, mm. uh, if uh, Powerball, they say, okay, we'll give you $400 million, that doesn't mean they're giving away the money. Mm. They're giving, I mean, they're not corrupting the people. I mean, in, indirectly, yes, corrupt. <laughs> but That's not, what my question was. Yeah. Is he trying to bribe the voters? No, they, he's not. Legally, in legal uh, uh, terms, not. Hmm. And uh, because it's a lottery, I mean, he's going to draw the lottery, it means it's not. Hmm. And voter registration is uh, all citizens' uh, uh, duty and uh, 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 kind of uh, uh, it's a legal thing to do to encourage the people to vote. Th that is true uh, and you know maybe he is just because, because, because he's not saying that vote for Trump he's saying that you register and then vote for anybody who you want to vote but he's on the Trump side no he is from Trump's side doesn't yes. mean that everybody has to follow that either right so uh, let's move on to you know with Israel increasing its intensity on its war in Gaza and Lebanon and Europe not wanting to continue supporting him so how is it like impacting his relations uh, in Europe who oh, the Israel's Israel. relations? Yes. I think the relations are tense in, with the USA too, but USA kind of in the uh, jam in a sense that uh, USA has committed um, that they, no, no matter what they will uh, defend Israel. But if Israel uh, does uh, some aggressive move towards Iran, then probably USA may not uh, help. Hmm. Because uh, and plus, I think the whole I, whole Europe is kind of backing out because of the so many innocent people uh, casualties, hmm. forty thousand plus in Gaza and another ten thousand in Lebanon, hmm. and uh, th there is no end to it. And we, uh, everyone who who really thinks properly can see that 
this kind of war you cannot win because it's a it's a war of uh, what do you call war of uh, ideology hmm. so today you kill uh, thousand people and then uh, tomorrow those people's um, family member become hamas again hmm. so it's it's ongoing so we have to de have diplomatic solution to this problem mm -hmm. and and uh, so people has to sit down and say that okay uh, you can you can stay in the gaza but uh, re security remains with the israel hmm. that way israel is safe hmm. that's the way to do it Okay, and you must have seen in the news like, you know, Israel killing of the Hamas leader. Yes. Got killed. So, tell me, was that like a master strike or it was just, you know, lucky timing? No, I think uh, they came to know where he is that day. Hmm. And so, I'm sure that USA told uh, Israel that, listen, hmm. you want to kill this guy and, 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 and uh, declare the victory and then do the ceasefire mm -hmm. and get the hundred uh, hostages out. Hmm. That was, I think, a political plan. Mm -hmm. And that's why after his death, I think everything is quiet down now. And probably everyone is pushing, uh, USA pushing Israel to do the ceasefire and get a hostage out so you, they can have double victory. Right. Because see, you, you cannot kill each and every Hamas uh, from the, in Gaza. There's hmm. no way. So it is impossible. Same thing, they, they cannot uh, kill uh, all Hezbollah in Lebanon. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that kind of, this war has no meaning. That's why Europe is, um, you know, because it affects a lot of uh, businesses, economy, and unnecessary death of the suffering, you know. Right. So uh, let's move to Canada. There, you know, Justin Trudeau, he is he keeps like digging his heels as he's losing his local and, of course, some of the global support also and you know India is very clear that they are like they are for like strong ties with Canada but they do not like the actions of this government so is there a way out for the stalemate oh yeah there is easy way out because the diplo all diplomatic soli uh, solution has to be resolved on that on the table mm. uh, by sitting uh, sit, sit down and uh, resolve the table mm. if uh, if uh, canada has some evidence they have to uh, not in the public but they should do privately give it to the uh, india and say that okay we suspect abc mr mm. a or b or c and just investigate them mm. and s uh, see what you can find we have a certain proof but uh, you find what these people has done right so, if India finds uh, and everything is, uh, no, nobody is guilty, then uh, the whole thing is over. Right. And I'm sure you must have seen in the news that Panun, he warns of the attack on Air India, you know, ahead of the 1984 uh, anniversary. And I feel he's a lawyer and he has chosen his words very carefully. So, should Canada and US allow this as freedom of speech or like come down on this type of rhetoric like against a sovereignty uh, like you know i mean uh, pannu is taking a kind of advantage of all this situation and making uh, his uh, kind of uh, khalistan uh, thing uh, more uh, kind of uh, loud mm -hmm. but it has no meaning to it and uh, uh, but again uh, um, uh, probably legally we don't know whether uh, uh, it, it falls into the uh, any criminal criminality if there is cr any criminality then Canadian government should uh, arrest him yeah. or USA should uh, arrest him but we don't know because we are not attorneys so we don't know what's the legality All so right. it, it may fall into a gray area of the free speech absolutely absolutely and uh, you know let's talk about this progress for India on its ongoing negotiations around line of actual uh, control with China and you know they are backing out and allowing India to uh, patrol again, you know, in some of its posts. So, is that a diplomatic victory for Modi? Yes, yes, definitely is a victory of the <coughs> Modi administration, and I think is a good news. And hopefully, um, what they are saying, uh, China should obey that, and again, should not uh, uh, enter into our territory. So let's move <coughs> on to our rapid fire questions, and my. First uh, question is from Vinay. Vinay wants to know, Modi is in Russia for BRICS summit. Should Putin take Modi's offer for helping with brokering peace for their war? Yes or no? I don't think Russia wants peace there. 
Russia ha Russia uh, ha wants to have that uh, whatever territory they they captured they want to keep it as a part of the Russia hmm. and if and eventually that kind of settlement will happen and uh, that's what Russia is looking for they are ah, right. they are getting um, make sure that uh, Ukraine gets tired of keep fighting you know okay uh second question is from Neerja Neerja says Trump served fries at a McDonald's recently is it okay to use the franchise rules and not take McDonald's permission for using their brand for political reasons I'm sure he, he I mean he does that uh, he did that uh, I think uh, event uh, in the McDonald hmm. so I mean again it's a freedom of the speech Hmm. he's not promoting really uh, i mean he's promoting mcdonald but so mcdonald won't mind it right right so why they sh- he mcdonald and what he wanted to say that i mean uh, this is the great breakfast in 5 dollar or 3 hmm. dollar and now it is 7 dollar or whatever so hmm. that's what he was aiming at hmm. and it is a is a very uh, tri- uh, nice way of saying or or uh, tricky way of uh, giving the points so people can remember that right so uh, sharad uh, has a question and uh, is asking recent terrorist attack in kashmir is that another example of two power centers competing in pakistan politicians try to present an olive branch for friendship and army getting worried that they are losing ground yes possible because they have been uh, kashmir is only issue they have which may, uh, keeps uh, people rallying behind it you know hmm. and i think there is quite possible that uh, politicians are talking uh, diplomatically but uh, uh, army wants to make sure that this issue remains alive hmm. uh, to keep the pe- people together of course and so nalini uh, wants to know is india at peak in world diplomacy modi hugging biden then putin and now shaking hands with Jinping is there any other world leader who can do that no a lot of world leaders <laughs> so i think uh, we are overreading it a little bit so uh, when they meet each other either mm. they hug or they shook shake the hand everybody right, does right right but uh, uh, what we are watching is uh, modi's hug and modi's uh, handshake that's what your your eyes are seeing yes yes Naveen uh, is asking October is observed as breast cancer awareness month your comments on that cause yeah bre- that that's very good idea because uh, uh, breast cancer is very common i mean very uh, re- i mean prevalent and common and uh, uh, it's a treatable disease so early diagnosis of breast cancer is very good and uh, having this kind of uh, month of the breast cancer and ovarian um, uh, cancer uh, mix people to go to the mammography and check out and uh, see make sure that there is no there is no problem in uh, in their, their health hmm. so i think uh, this kind of um, uh, month of the this cancer and month of that cancer is always good hmm. it, it it keeps reminding people hmm. that do something about it so you know talking about mammogram So how often should uh, women get the mammogram? Done? Well, uh, women under 50 should go at least every other year. Hmm. And uh, w- women over 50 should go almost uh, every year. All right. Okay. And so that takes care of our rapid fire. And before uh, you give out this week's message, I want to remind our viewers that you can follow Dr. Sudhir Parik on Facebook at Dr. Parik and you can also follow him on twitter the handle is s u d p a r i k h please go ahead dear friends it's a uh, diwali time and uh, i would like to wish happy diwali to all our viewers and also happy new year to all our uh, gujarati viewers uh, who are going to celebrate the new year and uh, day after the diwali diwali day and this uh, enjoy eat lot of uh, good food uh, uh, delicious food and uh, do the festivity remember the uh, family get together with the family or friends and uh, always uh, when you get together with the family respect your elderly and respect your uh, parents as well as who are whoever is a senior to you and and teach your children uh, accordingly so everybody 
has a good uh, kind of sanskar in their uh, mind and go and visit the temple at least once and uh, start the new year or, or next year um, with the better uh, ethics and uh, hard work. So thank you, happy Diwali to everyone and happy new year to all our Gujarati viewers. Uh, till, we'll see you next time. Till then, goodbye.